your opinion on NASCAR right now, NASCAR today. So look, I, I, I have a, I have a real inside view of it, you know, because of the, the driver's advisory council, you know, my kid drives a cup car. I'm involved. I, you know, I'm, I'm heavily involved. Obviously I work with what I do with NBC. Like, you know, I, I have a super inside look at it and I have tons of optimism about where this sport, the effort being put in to making this sport, the best it's ever been. And we're, we're it, you're never going to, if somebody likes something the way it was, if somebody liked the NBA in the eighties, you're not going to make it the eighties, right? You're not going to do it. And, and, but in my eyes, if you look at our mile and a half racing, it's the best we've ever had. I mean, you okay. think about, think about where we were, right? So we built all these mile and a half racetracks and then we went, Oh shit, what'd we do? Like the racing's not good. Too many of them. So now the mile and a half racing is really, really good. And the short track racing has not been as good. So let's fix the short track racing. Like, let's don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Like, we got this part really good. Like, this mile and a half stuff's really good. The super speedway racing is really good. How do we fix the short tracks? Right. And if we can do that, then we, the product on track is, is good, really good. And, and that part of it, that part of it, it, to me, is the, is the essence of the sport, right? Is the, is, is the on-track performance. We've got to build, we've got to have more household names. Yeah. we got to have more people that know these race car drivers. That's what we have to do. we got to find a way. That. And, 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 yeah. You could put a hundred people in this in this room and talk about why we don't have more household names, and you have a hundred different opinions, right? And and it's a complicated thing. It's it's but but at the end of the day, we have to have more household names. These cup drivers, people have to know who they are. The way they knew, the way they knew Rusty, the way they knew Mark, the way they knew Dale, the way they knew all these guys, right? They they, they were household names, and and. That's what we got to get back to. And, okay. and what that formula is, is very difficult. And if somebody, if somebody can tell you, tell you exactly, they know the way to fix it there, they, maybe they think that, but it's, there really is not one answer. You know, I, I tell people this all the time, you know, bell bottom jeans were badass for a while, man. I know you had a pair, right? They oh yeah. Cool, right. <laughs> Wear them anymore. Right. They, right. You know, it, you know it, I, I think, I think, oh, Kyle Larson, I, I hate to bring it up again, but, you know, I yelled this from the top of the mountains about two weeks ago. Kyle Larson won the cup championship, and I'm repeating myself right now, but it's it's worth doing because I don't know if you remember it. Uh, Kyle Larson said, Kyle Larson, you won the championship. How has this changed your life? He says, it hasn't done anything. No, nobody doesn't even know who I am. And I think, you know, what you just said makes me happy because I believe – you're inside the sport and it makes me happy that they know it and they're addressing it. Okay. Second thing out of three, your opinion on the new next gen car. We know this is a game changer. It's a complete different race car. What is your opinion on it? You know, I think it's given some, I think it's given some teams a chance that they wouldn't have had a chance otherwise. Um, you know, I, if you look at, you look at front row, if you look at what, uh, you know, what they did the last couple of years, uh, the resurgence of, of Roush, you know, I, I think that those things, the new car has been a big part of that. Yeah. Uh, and, and I'd like to think that that will continue. Right. Um, it's, it, it, I understand why it's controversial. I understand why some people don't like it, but I do think long-term it, it's the sport had to have something change. You can't have this, you can't have these endless budgets that create the situation you, Hey, if you want to see it, watch an F1 race on Sunday. And, and look, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. Some people love F1 racing. I particularly not that fond of it. Cause it's not, it's not very competitive to watch. I think it's a, it's an art. It's, it's, it's amazing what they do. And I have a ton of respect for it. I prefer to watch a race that's closer. That's yeah. just me. And I think most NASCAR fans are that way. And I think that this car gives us long-term the better opportunity to have close racing and, 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 
you man, it's an arms race. You you were part of it. You you know how it works. You know yeah. how it worked. It was an arms race, and and that's not, in my opinion, that's not in the best interest. We used to have this is what's so funny. Michael Waldrop said this years ago, and he was hundred <laughs> percent right. You know, you had a Laughlin car, right, or a Hopkins car. I used to go to Ronnie Hopkins' shop to to go pick up race cars when I drove the ninety nine car for 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 Jack Roush. He was building our chassis. I went down there and worked with Ronnie. This is how I want my cars built. Rusty's cars were on the surface plate being built right there. I could walk right up to it. That's Rusty Wallace's car. It it was the same as mine. Yeah. It had the same A-frames. It had the same spindles. It had the same steering box. It had That made you feel good. <laughs> right? I mean, yeah. we went when racing was its best. When we had the most popular NASCAR ever was, we had – spec race cars more than what we had four years ago yeah. and people don't believe that but it's true i could walk in i could look at rusty's car i and and i could tell you by looking at the upper control arm how much cambry had in the car i could tell how much castor he had it within a degree right yeah. he, i mean it, they were spec we had the same truck arms we had the same track bar like it it we had more spec cars then than we did five years ago. Well, what was the setup at uh, the, the joke? But it was so true. You pull into Charlotte, uh, 1914, 350, 400. <laughs> Nine and a half, ten and a half. Yeah, yeah. Uh, track, you know? bar. track bar. <laughs> so, you know. 49% wedge. <laughs> yeah, and 51.5% nose weight. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's good stuff. And, and, and you, you, you know, so you think about it, when our sport was the best it ever was. Good point. That's what it was. Good point. And so when people say, well, this new car, everybody got the same. We used to have the same. Everybody used to be the same. We, we, we changed that when we started building our own chassis. Yeah. We changed yeah. it. Yeah. It, it wasn't like that. And yeah. so, and so in my eyes, in my eyes, we're going back more to how it was when it was its most successful. We're not, we're not moving this way without understanding what happened in the past. If you don't understand history, your future is going to be screwed up. I said this last night, history. I, I didn't like history when I was a, when I was a kid, but if you understand it now, it, you, you need to write a book on connecting the dots. You, you have taught me, you have reminded me more today than I ever uh, thought would happen because uh, the coil binding, the lower the front end and, 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 and the Hans, you know, the, the full containment seat. And you're dead on on this subject right there. Yeah. Okay. So uh, last but not least, uh, your opinion on how NASCAR is officiating the fines, which we have saw, woo, some big fines, penalties, how we're going through tech inspection today. So I, uh, so um, Emmanuel Zervakis. Oh, what a name. Um, <laughs> he what told me, he told me years ago, if you don't make someone do the right thing, they never will. Yeah. And, and. I believe that. I believe that in in motorsports, because there's so many things out there that you can touch. Tom Brady, the world went ape shit for how many weeks, how many months? Because Tom Brady might have overinflated a ball or whatever the hell he did. Imagine a race car. Imagine all of the parts that a race car has on it, in which you could do whatever it is that Tom Brady supposedly did with his football. Imagine that. Yeah. So if you don't have strict rules that are strictly enforced, it will get away from you. Mm. And yeah. and if 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 NASCAR police if, if NASCAR could put the genie back in the bottle from and and go back in time to 1997 and say, "Okay, you're going to run Ronnie Hopkins chassis or you're going to run Laughlin chassis. You can run this rear end or those truck arms, which is what we already had." Right. You're right. That's what would have been the right thing to do. But the only way to make any of that work is to have rules that are strictly enforced. Yeah. And if you don't hold people accountable, they won't do the right thing. Competitors will screw it up because yeah. we're, we don't care. 
We don't care about, about me. <laughs> yeah, so I don't care. Why do I care? I mean, people tell me that one of the worst races in the history was was I led every lap in New Hampshire. I thought it was awesome. Yeah, I'm like I'm gonna do it again. And 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 but but you know, race fans didn't like that. I don't blame them. Maybe I wouldn't have liked it either. But hell, I didn't care. Why should I care? And so so you have to have rules and you have to enforce them. Look, I think I think the uh, I think the fighting stuff is stupid. I don't I don't think that you know we don't need that crap. Two drivers want to get in each other's face and have a conversation. That's fine. But I, I, I fighting and shoving and I, I just I, I we don't need that. That that I, I don't I just don't think it's necessary. So yeah. I wish we'd put a stop to that. And uh, yeah, but but I, I'm 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 a I'm a big penalty I'm a big penalty big fine guy I'm okay with it.